Hi guys, and welcome to Journey to Journeyman episode number 19. First of all, I have to start this one off with a huge apology to one of my viewers, Brian, who sent me in a viewer appreciation gift in October of 2017. It is now February of 2019, and I just opened it up. Huge apology for that, Brian. A huge faux pas on my part. That should have been opened up and put on the air back when I first got it. So, huge apology for that. As a matter of fact, this Journey to Journeyman episode was filmed a year and a half ago, and I'm just now getting around to doing the intro. That's not an excuse. It's just life has been getting in the way of everything. But once again, sorry about that, Brian. Thank you for the gift. And on this episode, what I did is made a fixture and a jig for making those fidget spinners. And once again, that's kind of out of fashion now too. But I needed to mass produce about 10 to 12 of them. So I made this fixture to make it a little easier to make it. If you want to see how I made this and the unboxing, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. About a year and a half ago, a viewer of mine asked me if I could use something that he saw at a, a garage sale or some sort of a sale or auction of some sort. I said, sure, I think I could use that. And basically what it is, is an industrial shredder. He saw me trying to shred up that um, those milk jugs to make the HDPE um, stock. So he all he wanted off of was the motor, so he offered me the shredder, and I said, sure. All right, this is so cool. It's um, it's an industrial one um, by Dunlop Shredding Machine Company. So it's got the guard and everything, and uh, hopefully I can get uh, this thing up and running and uh, try it on uh, doing those plastic um, milk jugs and make some HDPE blanks. Once again, don't be like me guys. When somebody sends you a gift, open it. I have a great letter he sent with it and I feel horrible that it took me one year and four months to open this viewer appreciation gift. Thank you again Brian, I really appreciate it. Well let's take a look at our part. First of all, the main critical dimension is this 865 boss on this thing and that has to be pretty accurate and this has to be uh, fairly accurate as well on the height of the boss we'll use a quarter 20 to hold it down now let's take a look at our order of operations first thing is cut the stock then we'll machine it square and flat then we'll machine the circle in it drill and tap for the hole down index two holes, use the jig to make the part, and then flex for the ladies. Now as I start machining this fidget spinner here, I started thinking about how many of these things I had to make and how of a laborious task was ahead of me and the main thing about it is the, the hardest I should say part of it is getting the holes indexed correctly I tried it by just eyeballing and it will be out of balance so they have to be perfectly if there's six of them they have to be uh, six of them perfectly spaced and on this uh, lathe here I'm able to index it but that's a lot of time and effort to do that So as I start the initial machining process of these fidget spinner, my mind is just racing, trying to figure out how can I make this more efficient. And I knew that there had to be some sort of a jig or a fixture I could make. And, and that's what I'm, as I'm machining this, that's what I'm thinking about. How can I do this? Well, as I start using this 
fixture that I use to machine the outside of it, it kind of came to me that I, there was a way I could do this. All right, time to change direction. I'm going to try to make up a jig for drilling on and some of it's in my mind and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, you have to you have to learn it. Can I use this for what? Cut paper. Yeah. Be extremely and careful out of. Cut off your fingers. Blah blah blah. Now after getting it deburred, I start to make the center boss and this has got to be pretty precise so that there's a slip fit on it, but it's no wiggle in it. Now it's time to trace out the circle to have it centered up. So I get a center punch and I go ahead and just put a light tap on there and then I will take the spinner off and now I'm going to take and put it right on that punch mark and scribe a circle around the entire thing. One of the unique features about this little Atlas 618 is that it has indexing on the bull gear back there. And so what I do is mark with a Sharpie, and I'm just counting to make sure, but I mark with a Sharpie six evenly spaced holes around there. And once that's done, I scribe across and um, center punch it. And once I get the center punch marks, all I need is to have two of them perfectly spaced, and I can use one for drilling and one for indexing. Well, let's little, try a little test piece. Uh, what I'm going to do is I guess all you need is two spots on here. So what I'll do is drill one, slide it over, index it in, and keep going. Let's see if it works. Thank you. 
A couple of things I realize when I do this. Number one, it needs to be clamped. I thought I could just, that little pin would hold it in there, but it's not enough force. And later on, I use a screw to hold it down because it does, that drill does want to turn it and, uh, and move it out of position. Ta-da! And while I am cutting one of those over here on the lathe, I'm machining one. So the way I got this to work is I put washer here, uh, bolted that down. I would um, drill a hole anywhere. And then the next thing I would do once I drilled a hole is um, let's start off with just drilling a hole. And then I would move this around to the indexed hole, put this in it, which would hold it in place, drill a hole. Lift it up, take that off, slide it around to the next one, index that in, drill a hole. And doing that around the edges of that, um, when I found my two holes that were good and I use those two bada bing bada boom and I pumped them right out hey guys a couple of lessons learned the first one is when someone sends you a viewer appreciation gift be kind enough to open it up and thank them for it and once again Brian thank you for that gift sorry it took me so long to open it as far as the fixture goes I learned a little something about indexing when you're indexing something, you have to be extremely precise. Um, when you're doing hand tools, you got to take the extra time to really, really zone in and get things indexed correctly, or it will cause you a little problem down the road. Fortunately for me, all I needed was two holes, so once I got one hole drilled, uh, all I needed to do was index one hole around it, and I was able to do that. But uh, this worked out extremely well. Um, help me to make those things a lot quicker and once again learn some stuff so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope to see you on the next journey to journeyman